<laughs> if you're having trouble running your old DOS games or applications in Windows XP or, or uh, television show animations, maybe you need to try out today's free file. Roger Chang, the notorious ROG with VDM Sound. Yes, VDM Sound. Now, oftentimes people complain about the fact that Windows 2000 or any NT Windows does not support DOS. Yes. That's one of the things they removed to make it a lot more stable. But that means all the old games or applications like uh, Autodesk's uh, animator that they put out like uh, 15 years ago was the yeah. first like real like PC. 3D studio, something like that. The first uh, PC yeah. animation program. Won't work. Well, well, they'll work, no sound, or they run too fast, oh. or they run So really sound a common problem? Is that really... Sound is a very common problem because yeah. sound for DOS games require kind of a hardware interrupt. Yeah, it needs a know. hardware address yeah. where it can find it. Doesn't yeah. exist in uh, NT or 2000, so you know they shrug the shoulders. So this VDM sounds may may not solve all your problems, but it will fix the sound issue. It will fix the sound issue. Actually, uh, if you download the launch pad, you'll actually get a lot more options. But once you download it, you get uh, you get them as a right-click entry. Oh, that's neat. So you've installed it, and now it's added that. Yeah, it's added. So anytime I right-click anywhere, actually, I'll just uh, any file I have will have this option. Okay, cool. So all I need to do is right-click, and <coughs> it'll look, give you uh, look. give. Look. Give you a bunch of uh, options and settings. So it's not just sound. It, it actually does a lot more. Well, it does a lot of things that DOS used to do, including mm -hmm. make what they call high mem space. Yeah. Uh, so you would get a full megabyte, full megabyte of uh, RAM space in DOS. So you I remember that, high mem. So, so you could run all those DOS yeah, games yeah. that normally don't run. We used to have to run memory managers. Yeah. And uh, this is a classic case, this game right here that I'm sure a lot of people will remember. Uh, Sierra represents King's Quest IV. And this, is a, this literally was a wow. uh, game. Okay. Now, are we getting sound? Yep. Now, you have to realize this is an ad lib sound card, so it sounds like an ad lib sound card. But that's not an ad lib sound card in our heart, in our actual no, machine. No, no, it's, it's emulating. emulating it. It's emulate, but that's but what, that's what this game sounded like. Oh. If you had the top high end software, hardware. Yeah, yeah if you spent you the 200 bucks on the a sound card <laughs> to play a $50 game, uh, you know, people. <laughs> <laughs> Are we that. stupid or what? Hey, but you know what? A lot of people still have, I actually still have a majority of my games because I invested in you know what? way too much money. 20 years from now, you and I will be doing call for help. And we say, look at this Unreal Tournament 2004. Were we stupid? What were we thinking? Now they got holography, yeah. full motion feedback. That's a real game. <laughs> anyway, this is fun. You like this game? Uh, I love the game. I actually spent 40 bucks on it. Actually, 40 bucks of my uh, allowance. And that was it. when a dollar was a dollar. That was when a dollar was a dollar. Yeah. And you know what? I never finished it because I had to finish high school. But now you have sound and you don't have any uh, education. So yeah, you're true. set. You're done with high school. You got the diploma. You can play King's Quest IV. Yes. And so can you, folks, thanks to VDM Sound, a, a DOS compatibility program. You can find it at uh, uh, the link to our website, but it's a source for Oh, it's an open source. That's yes. great. All right. And and do you also have a link to get King's Quest IV on there? Because I want uh, This is actually my copy. Oh, you're kidding. No. So it's actually playing off the CD? Or did uh, you have CDs? Floppy. Floppy. Four of them. Four. Wow. It's a mega big game when it came out. <laughs> Ten bucks a floppy. <laughs> Thank you, Roger. The Notorious ROG. Stay right here. Yes.